All right, guys. Here we are at Six Forks Farm again. We're having what we're doing. What we're doing today is sort of a, a mini cattle drive. So we've got these new cows. We're going to do a, a, a cross between a Longhorn and a Devon. And I've got Autumn and Grayson here with me. And uh, this was Grayson's idea about the about the cattle that we're going to use. Do you want to talk a little on that? Grayson? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So we're using the Longhorns because Longhorns are known for their long life. They're um, fertility through many, many years. Longhorns are known to have calves into their teens, even 20 years old sometimes. They're also specifically designed by nature to survive in Texas. They can survive the heat, they can survive the rain, they can survive the weeds and things, the less quality grass, and they're really cool to look at. Um, and then we're crossing them with Devons because Devons get the fattest out of any cattle on nothing but grass. So we're mixing this hardy cow with this cow that gets really fat. We're mixing our Texas pride with um, a cow that can improve its weight and can give us a lot of yield so we can feed a lot of people. Um, that's kind of our goal with the cross right now. Great, well said. So these cattle, some of them, we've, we moved the bull yesterday, which we've got some footage of that that I want to show you guys. But we've got the, the female, which is pregnant, right, Grayson? Yes, sir. Our longhorn female is pregnant currently. And so we've got we've got her and the Devon here at the, in the barn in the corral area. They've been isolated for a couple of days just in case they have any kind of, you know, weird bugs or anything that they brought with them on the farm. And then we will um, join them with the goats and the sheep. And we're going to show you what that looks like here in a minute. All right, guys, here we are. We made it to the barn area, and I want to show you what these what these cows look like. If you haven't seen the bull yet, the bull is down in the other pasture, but we've got the longhorn here. Here's the longhorn female here on the other side of the corral area, and she's actually pregnant. She's going to give birth here in probably another month, Grayson. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. Should be sometime today. And then we got Lucky. She's in the corral area. We were wanting to give her some sun and maybe some fresh air get out of that barn stall. So she's been out here for, looks like she's taking a nap today. But she's in there. And then that's what the Devon looks like on the other side of the corral area. So what we're going to do is, is Grayson's going to use the dog to try to get these, get these two cattle moved along down the driveway. And you'll see when we get down there, we've got the driveway, we've got it netted where it's going to be like a tunnel all the way down to the little pasture that they're going to be in. So there you have it. We'll get started here in just a second. There, down. There! Lay down. There, down. That's your thing. Double back for a minute. 
but these two cattle were already trained on this electric fence. So as, they, as far as they know, it's hot, which it's not. Here on the right, you saw the longhorn bull along with the sheep there in that other pasture. All right, guys, finally made it down the driveway. Here they are. They made it where they're supposed to be in this area here with the goats making an introduction. I'm not sure that the goats like them very much, but they'll kind of um, they'll get used to each other. So here's how this works. They'll be in this net for, I don't know, a day or so until they eat out all of this grass. Then they eat it down and then we'll rotate it to the next. So I've got Grayson here. I want him to explain to you rotational grazing and what that means. Okay, everybody. Um, so before I tell you about rotational grazing, just want to introduce you. This is our uh, rotational grazing enforcer, Kane. He's a little hot. He's trying to stay in the shade right now, but I could not do my job without him. And then I have another dog, Gypsy. He helped us get him here. Uh, that's part of the rotation. So rotational grazing, in essence, is these cows will be here for a day, two days max. We don't leave them in one spot very long because if they are, they'll start getting bugs from their own poop. They'll start regrazing grass as it comes up, right? So it's kind of like a haircut, right? So say I wanted to have long, luscious hair. If I cut it once a week, I'm never going to get there, right? This grass is the same way. These cows, they want the good stuff. They want the juicy stuff. They want these little sprouts. So if they graze it when it's this tall, it's not gonna grow tall ever. And then its roots are gonna suffer because it has to take energy from its roots to grow even a little. So what we do is we let them eat this down till it's short and then we move them. They don't touch it again. Nothing touches it again for 30 to 60 days at least. So that when they come back, Again, it's knee high tall. So the grass has had time not only to grow tall, but then once it's tall, it lets its roots grow deeper. That is regenerative agriculture. It's healing the soil because everything comes from the soil. The deeper our roots get, the more nutritious our soil is, the more compact, and then everything grows better. We have more grass in every area. It's all about healing the soil. We're really not ranchers or farmers. We're not even grazing crops, we are soil farmers. That's really what you do in regenerative agriculture is you heal your soil. Good explanation. Now, why do you have, why do you have the goats in there with them and what's their function? And then what happens after the goats? Okay, so the goats are in here with our cattle because cattle want the best stuff. They want the grass, which that's what we want them to eat. But I don't know if you can see, but there's these weeds, these woody stemmed weeds and vines and things. Cattle won't eat that, but the goats will. The goats will skip the grass and eat those things. So part of, another part of regenerative agriculture is using different species, like we've talked about, to graze everything. Because if the cattle eat just grass, but leave weeds, we're just gonna have a ton of weeds. We have to have the weeds eaten, the grass eaten, and then the grass is what's gonna thrive because Weeds have shallow roots, grass throw deep roots. So the goats are in here as our weed control. They'll even eat branches off of trees so they keep our trees trimmed, they keep our weeds down, and they give our cattle better things to eat. Awesome, great explanation. And then this will be in another video, but we'll talk about chickens another time because they're a whole nother piece to this.
complicated puzzle, right? Stay tuned. Stay tuned about that. All right, so here we are in this first pasture. You guys saw this pasture along the driveway that we had netted off like a tunnel. And this pasture has the sheep instead of the goats. And the sheep are keeping the bull company. Right now we have the bull separated from the two girls because we don't want that Devon impregnated yet um, until later on in the year. So uh, the, way that we, the way that the pregnancy cycle falls. And I'll have Grayson explain that here in a second. Um, he has a better idea of, of why. But <clears throat> the bull is gonna be in here with the sheep and the net, and then we're gonna rotationally graze them around this area here. And uh, we're about to get them in the net, so we'll see what that looks like and show you guys. Come on, Jack, keep walking this way. the net alone just come in come in hurry nice and slow Jack slow down a little bit because the bulls following you he's gonna come in too Look at that come over here to this corner Jack Justin good job Jack you got him in there son I'm gonna go and close this gate you just stay right there okay I need to climb over this fence. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. All right. Hang on. Look at that, huh? Look what Jack did. All right, so here we go. Now they're in there. Come on, you coming out? Yeah, undo that one right there. Let me come all the way, okay. Yeah, there you go. Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Nice work. Jack did that all by himself. Yeah, even the bull. 